Hi, I'm Paul Chubbuck, founder of Releasing the Past. You probably found my website or my videos because you are feeling that you may have trauma or PTSD. So let me explain briefly a very important concept on how to get over that. It's called resources or resourcing. Now, when you were traumatized, whatever the cause, whether it's some accident or injury or loss or assault, part of the reason that it is still sticking with you months or years later is because you didn't have enough resourcing at the time. And what I mean by that is it could mean a lot of different things. It could mean that you weren't able to run fast enough or you didn't have anybody to protect you or you didn't have loved ones in your life at that point or you couldn't fight hard enough or you weren't big enough. All those are forms of resource. In other words, to be strong is a resource. To have friends and loved ones is a resource. So part of healing from that experience, part of getting over trauma and PTSD, is to replace those missing resources and also to help you recognize resources that you actually have and that you may not be fully aware of. So this is not just an informational video. This is an actual experience I'm going to lead you through. So it's going to take a little longer than the rest of my videos. This is going to be about seven minutes long. And it's going to take a little something on your part, namely the willingness to relax and go with my voice as your guide for a few minutes. If you're not in the mood at all to do that, that's fine. Just go on to one of my other videos and come back to this at a time when you can relax and slow down a little bit. Because the mind is very quick to get new ideas, but in order to let them make a difference in our body, we've got to slow down and let the physiology and the feelings and the sensations get used to something new. That's when the change happens. So, if you are willing, if you're still with me, then I'd invite you to sit as comfortably as possible as you are now and to kind of go inside. You don't even need to watch the video anymore. For this, my voice will be your guide. And I'd like to ask you a question and just feel into this question. What is there in your life or has there been in the past which has made you feel joyful or empowered or successful. This could mean many different things to different people. It could be friends, it could be activities or hobbies or creative endeavors. It could be a way you like to move or something you like to create, a place you like to go or a beloved animal. So if any of these things I've said have jogged your memory or you've thought of something on your own that helps you feel successful or empowered or joyful, then that's for the purpose of this exercise. That's your resource. Now I'd like you to notice everything you can about that memory of your resource. Notice where you are who you're with. Notice the weather if you're outside or the atmosphere and temperature indoors or outdoors. See if you can remember details like colors and textures. If there were voices involved, recall those voices that were a part of this resource. And recall what you were doing exactly, how you were moving or speaking or listening. So as this memory is recalled with a little more detail and richness, now I'd like to ask you to notice what's happening in your body right now. No longer with the memory, but just right now as you sit here what do you notice in your body? What sensations? And where? For example, there may be warmth, or there may be tightness, or there may be tingling. There may be softness or hardness. 
simply notice, no need to change it or to judge it. See if you can just be aware, as aware as possible, of the sensations that are happening in your body right now. And as you pay attention to them, see if you notice any changes or if your attention goes somewhere else. So, good. If we were working together in person, I would ask you what you were noticing. Since I can't do that, I'll just ask you to be very aware of it and now to begin to come back into your room where you're sitting actually right now and see if you can do that without disturbing whatever awareness you have of your body right now. In other words, as you gently open your eyes, you can still be aware of the softness or tingling or the warmth or whatever it was you were noticing a moment ago. Now, this has just been a mini little experience in resourcing, and I hope you've been able to feel something in the direction of relaxation, of calm, of perhaps a little more contentment than perhaps when we started a few minutes ago. Um, this can deepen with time, with practice, and with working in person. This can become a very powerful pathway to healing. Thank you very much.